Hello everybody, my name is Rohan, and today I'm bringing you another video documenting the development of Boson. This is video number 6 in the series, so subscribe if you haven't already to see more of this. So, last video I said that I would be posting more frequent updates in terms of the development. And since then I've actually gotten significantly busier, and I've made significantly less changes to the game. So, I haven't been posting any updates since that video. This is actually the, the first video since then, and I think the last one was a month ago or more. The reason being is that the tiny changes I made added up. And for each one of those changes, I just thought, this isn't a big enough change to make a new video. So, I'm just going to wait until I get a bigger change. And it turns out, all those small little changes made a big difference in the end. So let's jump right into it. First things first, we've got the app icon. Now obviously this is an alias, so there's this little arrow. But it won't be there when you actually open it up in the dock. And if you actually went to the, the source location, it would also show the correct app icon so let me demonstrate that right now okay so right now it's in this really obscure location and that's because it hasn't been released yet and what that means is the entire app is going to be in this folder because I'm coding it with Xcode and this is where it builds and compiles the entire thing but anyways as you can see here is the new app icon it doesn't have the arrow anymore because this is where it's actually located. So yeah, let's open it up. And another big change is the title screen. And you'll notice that it matches the app icon. I changed it because I thought the other one wasn't really that polished or well made. And I'm not saying it's bad how it was earlier, but I definitely could have done better. But the main reason I changed it was because I obviously want this game to feel retro and I want it to be kind of pixelated. That really just wasn't working out with the other title screen. It just didn't have that feel of, you know, retro game. So I made a new one and this feels way better to me. You might be wondering why there's no background, why it's just black. Well, it's like that because number one, I couldn't think of a good background to put. Number two, I looked at Earthbound's title screen, and that kind of inspired me. So, it kind of reflects in this. So, anyways, as you can see, uh, the logo moves up when you add extra options by, you know, pressing enter to continue. So, those are all the changes I made to the title screen. These three options still do nothing. So, we have yet to see some change in that. And I don't think I'm going to actually implement that for a while, because I've got a lot of other things to take care of. But anyways, enough rambling about the title screen. Let's move on to the game. Now, one thing you might have noticed just now is, why did I spawn down here? I don't know if I showed this area off in previous logs, but normally, I'm going to use my debug creature to warp myself up. Normally, you'd start out right here. This is where you normally spawn in. And that brings me to the first change. I actually got a save feature working. Except, it's not really a functional save feature in the sense that you press one key on your keyboard to save and another key to load. So you can really just save anytime you want. There's no restrictions and you can save anywhere you want. Even if you're in the middle of talking to someone. So just to show that off, when I press Z, the game crashes. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that to happen. Normally, that's something that doesn't happen, but I think I might know why. Um, okay, so apparently my save feature broke somewhere between, I think it was maybe three weeks ago and now the save feature just randomly stopped. Actually, no, it was working less than a week ago. So 
I'm not actually sure what happened to the save feature. Let me try to save my position instead of load it, and I do that with M. Okay, so I just pressed M to save it. No, so... I actually don't know why it's doing that. But... I can only hope I'll figure it out before the next log. Anyways, moving on. The second change is reflected. <laughs> I should have honestly started with this. I should have leaded with this. Obviously, there's a big change that I actually forgot to mention because I've had this change for quite a bit now. New sprites. New Magnum sprites. And in fact, his name is no longer Magnum. It is now Max. In case you're wondering why the arbitrary change from the name Magnum to the name Max, well, number one, Max sounds better. But if you're wondering where I got that name from, well, I've been taking a lot of inspiration for this game from games like Earthbound, Undertale, Mother 3, which is Earthbound 2 for those of you who don't know, and Mario and Luigi, the Mario and Luigi RPGs. And what I noticed was the name Ness comes from the console it's on. Earthbound, the game in which Ness stars, runs on the SNES. That's the name of the console. So what they did was they took SNES and they scrambled the letters around to get Ness. SNES equals Ness. So I took that same concept and I incorporated it into my character because I'm coding this game for Mac OS X. And so I'm calling him Max. Say what you like, maybe it's unoriginal, maybe it's just lame, but that's his name for now. It could always change, but I think it's more suitable of a protagonist's name than Magnum. Just rolls off the tongue better, you know? You will notice that these sprites are kind of broken. Sometimes I'll be moving in a specific direction and I'll stop moving and I'll immediately turn around. For example, right now I'm moving right, but when I stop moving, I just immediately turn left. That's not something that I'm doing. It's a bug. And a bug I have yet to fix. All right, next change is reflected when talking to NPCs. Oh my gosh, so much is going wrong before my eyes. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> now the game is lagging like a slug trying to get through an ocean of mud. Why does this have to happen when I'm trying to record a development log? It reflects so badly on me. Alright, let's see if we can try and talk to this NPC again and if it'll speed things up again. No. Actually, no. I was going to comment on the fact that the text box is different. Number one, it looks more like an RPG text box. Number two, instead of having the name of the NPC who's talking to you on the left of the dialogue, which takes up room for the dialogue and leaves less room for the person to actually talk, it's on the top now and it's slightly bigger than the actual dialogue. Number two, I don't know if this was in the last log, but you can actually rewind or unscroll the dialogue, I guess. We, we've all been through that moment in which you're talking to an NPC and they're about to tell you where you need to go, but you're too busy mashing the button, so you miss it. And you know you missed it, but you can't go back because that's not how NPCs work in most RPGs. And that's always bugged me so much. So if you press the back button, you can actually scroll back through the dialogue. Another change is earlier, if you pressed the advanced dialogue key while the dialogue was already writing out, it would just move immediately to the next line. I changed that because that would be really inconvenient, inefficient. Instead, I made it so that if you advance the dialogue before it's written out, it just automatically prints out the rest of the dialogue. Like that. 
So yeah, that's a pretty big change, and I'm actually really happy with that change. Obviously, the dialog box, the text box, is in a different position on the screen. It's higher up than it normally is. But I'm going to fix that too. Another change that's pretty big that I just made yesterday actually is what I will be showing you in a few seconds. And hopefully it actually works in spite of all this unbelievable lag. One eternity later. A new battle theme! Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that uh, sound effect was obviously because I pressed a certain key and it just lagged until the battle started. But there's a new battle theme and I changed it because the old one was really repetitive and it got really boring after a while. It's crazy. I'm getting sick of my own music and so I have to change it. But anyways, I'll let you listen to it. So that's the new battle theme. And as I try and, you know, respawn myself into the game, it crashes again. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it one more shot and see if the game doesn't lag so much when I try and talk to people. But as you can see, it, it actually did save my position down here. Because when I restarted the game, it spawned me back in that corner. Oh my god, thank goodness. Okay, now I can actually properly demonstrate the new dialogue. So I'll turn up the volume once again. I've already explained it all, so now I just need to show it to you. Glad thing that's over with. Yeah, you saw that right. It actually said teach me multiple times. That is a side effect of scrolling backwards through the dialogue. It will actually repeat lines. I don't know particularly why it does that, but when you're scrolling backwards through dialogue, it will actually repeat lines over and over again. Every time you scroll back through the line, whatever line it is that's being repeated, it will add that same line again. So the more you scroll back, the more you'll have to scroll forward to get to the end. Obviously that's not intended, it's a bug. And I'm gonna fix that, eventually. So 
that is the new dialogue feature. But probably the biggest change that has happened since the last log is the worst change that has happened since the last log. The dialogue feature, and by that I don't mean actually talking to NPCs, I mean initiating the dialogue feature, is completely broken. And when I say completely broken, I'm not joking. Watch what happens when I try and talk to this guy up here. You can hear me pressing the button. And, uh, he will not talk to him. Now watch this. I am able to walk right through this guy. I can be standing right on top of him. And that is the only way he will talk. This is not just a problem with this one sprite. It is a problem with every single NPC in the game. Except for this envelope. I'm not sure particularly why this particular sprite works fine, but all the other NPCs are completely broken. For example, you can't interact with the sign from the top. And if you do, by walking directly, like walking into the sign and then trying to talk to it. Some really weird stuff happens. And I really don't think I need to point it out because it's really obvious the, the blatant side effects that this buggy glitch has. So yeah, very, very broken. And it's not even just with this, either. I will show you other NPCs who have the same problem. For example, this dude. Cannot talk to him. I am directly up against him, and I cannot move any closer to him. The only way you can talk to NPCs in this current state of the game is by brushing up against them. And what I mean by that is you have to be moving perpendicular to them while you're pressing the talk button. As you saw, if you talk to NPCs in a certain way, you'll just be able to walk around while the dialogue is still active. And that is really buggy and it can only get worse from here because once I add features like opening menus and random encounters, perhaps, if I do end up adding that, that could be a really big problem. And with that, I've talked about all the changes that have happened since the last log. I think so. Like I said, I can't possibly remember everything that was different from the previous log and the previous iteration of the game that I talked about. But I did my best to try and go over everything. At least I went over the most prominent stuff. So. If you liked the log and you enjoyed watching my thought process and some of the improvements that I made and you just in general enjoyed this kind of video, be sure to subscribe and I will be making more of these in the future. Leave a like to show me your support, it really means a lot to me. And comment down below, tell me what you think, I love hearing your thoughts and opinions. That will be all for me, thank you for watching once again and I will see you all later.